Hello there, Teacher Tracy here. Thank you so very much for visiting my channel. If you would, please, if you could hit the subscribe button down below, that would help me out tremendously, and you will be notified when I offer more free content like this. A little about me, I've actually been teaching in different capacities for over 20 years, and uh, a little over a year and a half ago, I started my own online teaching company where I teach students ages 5 through 10 all about animal science. I currently have over 7,000 students that I am teaching throughout the world. So today is just a little sample of some of the classes that I do. This is kind of an abbreviated version. My classes are typically 30 minutes long, but this will give you an idea of what I offer. If you would be interested in seeing some more of my classes, you can check the comments and links below to see what is available. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, we are going to talk about one of the more popular classes that I teach, and that is a class all about sloths. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to share my screen with you because I want to show you some things as we learn today. Now, typically when I'm teaching online, it is in a classroom setting. So there are several um, different um students involved in that class. So this is just a recording, but normally I am teaching in a live classroom setting, typically via Zoom. So we're going to get started today by talking about where sloth live. So do any of you have any idea where sloths may live in the wild? Do you know where sloths may live? Well, let's take a look. If you look at the globe here at the bottom of the screen, you will see the areas in green. Those are Central and South America, and that's where sloths live in the wild. Now, you can see sloths at zoos throughout the world, but the only place they live in the wild is Central and South America, those areas you see there in green. Now, in those places, they live someplace called the rainforest, and you can see a picture of a rainforest at the top of the page. Here's a picture of a sloth, and I think one of the reasons we like them so much is because they always look like they are smiling. So, this sloth, you can see it's up in the trees. Sloths like to be up in the trees for two reasons. One, they are very, very slow. So by being up in the trees, it helps them to not be spotted by predators. The second reason, sloths don't like to be hot. So by being up in the trees, it helps them to keep cool. If you look at this sloth, you'll notice it has three toes. This is a three-toed sloth. And did you know? Sloths have really strong arms. So if a predator, like a jaguar, a bird of prey, or a snake were to try to pull the sloth away from the tree, it probably would not be able to because its arms are that strong. Let's talk a little about baby sloths. Here we see a baby sloth. And when they are first born, they cannot climb through the trees. So what they'll do is like we see here in this picture, they'll just kind of attach themselves to their mom's belly and the mom will carry them through the trees. Now, when the baby sloth gets to be about 21 days old or three weeks old, they can start to hang on the tree branches themselves. Let's talk about the two different types of sloths. There's the three-toed, and the two-toed. Here on the left, you see the three-toed. You'll notice that it's darker in color. It has a mask on its face. It has three toes and they can move their head around almost like an owl. On the right, you'll see the two-toed sloth. It's lighter in color, has a longer nose, does not have a mask, has two toes and it cannot move its head around. So let me share with you Sally, my sloth. If you look at Sally here, 
we can see that she has three toes. So we know that she is a three-toed sloth. We can also tell by the mask on her face that she is a three-toed sloth. So if you have a stuffed sloth, you can always look at their hand to see if they are a two-toed or a three-toed sloth. So sloths can be found in zoos all throughout the world, but they don't really do a lot to see. So let me pull up a camera here. This is actually a live sloth camera at a zoo in Honolulu. And we'll see if we can see a sloth live on this camera. So let me pull this up here and we'll see what we can see. Did you know sloths can sleep up to 20 hours every single day. So they spend a lot of time sleeping. So the one camera is still loading here. And one of the reasons that sloths like to sleep so much is because they are slow and the energy that they get from their food or the food that their energy provides isn't much. And look, we can see this sloth live. This is at the zoo. Now, let's talk about what sloths eat. So sloths eat leaves. Remember, we talked about how they are up in the trees most of the time. They eat lots and lots of leaves. They also can eat tree buds. They chew on tree branches to keep their teeth filed down because their teeth continue to grow their entire life. And listen to this. Did you know sloths will sometimes eat poison ivy? Yes, sometimes they'll eat poison ivy, but it actually helps them when a sloth eats poison ivy. Some of the poison gets into their bloodstream and it... If a predator bites into the sloth, that predator gets a mouthful of the poison and it can suffocate the predator. So it's actually a defense mechanism. And we can see this sloth moving here. Now, because sloths are so slow, their digestion system is really slow. It can take up to one month for them to digest one leaf. And listen to this, they only come down out of the trees one time a week to go to the bathroom. So I wanna show you a few more fun things about sloths. Notice this sloth here. You'll see it has green on its body. What is that? That is algae. Yes, sloths have algae, green algae that grows on their fur and it helps to protect them from being spotted by predators. Guess what else? Sloths have these little flying moths that live inside their fur. Yes, it's like they have this mini ecosystem living on and inside their fur all the time. So I hope you guys have enjoyed just that quick overview of my sloth lesson. Now, typically my lessons are about 30 minutes long, and at the end of every lesson, we always draw the animal we are talking about, and I provide a worksheet that goes through all the information that we have talked about during that lesson. So I hope maybe your little one was able to enjoy this. Um, I do have some special coupons where you can get some of my classes free. They will be posted below. Also, if you can click the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it. And hopefully I will get to see you in a class very, very soon. So I'm going to stop sharing here. Feel free to share this with anyone that you think might be interested. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye-bye.